Oh, it's that famous time of the year again that we all get amped up for fall. Nothing says fall more than the pumpkin spice latte. I'll tell you what, it's absolutely perfect, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different with this pumpkin spice latte. Oh, and it was so good, but I'm going to take the cup. So I had this idea the other day when Starbucks went ahead and did the live stream of their pumpkin hatching <laughs> into the pumpkin spice latte. I literally sat at work and watched about 30 minutes worth of a pumpkin just sitting in a room <laughs> and I was like what is happening <laughs> but it was a it's a super cute idea I love fall it is it, fall is the season where it's my birthday month and then all these awesome holidays it's like Halloween and then Christmas I had this idea the other day when I was watching the live stream of the pumpkin spice latte hatching <laughs> so I just thought they should have done something with Cinderella so, because I remember doing an ink, Inktober doodle a couple years ago of Cinderella holding the pumpkin spice latte because it was like the first day of the pumpkin spice, spice latte and I was just overexcited and I drew Cinderella holding the pumpkin and I just thought, yeah. So, this would be really cute on a Starbucks cup. So, uh, as this idea legit came to me, I don't know if this idea have, has ever been done before. I know that they have transformed the Disney princesses to be like the Starbucks logos. I've seen it on Redbubble with all the stickers and everything and on Pinterest. But I mean, this the idea came to me when I was watching the pumpkin hatching. <laughs> So yeah, this is just really fun. Um, I'm just using plain acrylic craft paint on my cup. Nothing too crazy. They're all like a dollar at Michael's. I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys that I became an addict with coffee. Yes, I am addicted to coffee. If I do not have at least one cup of coffee a day, I will turn into a monster. Now, I'm the most unpleasant person in the world. If I do not have caffeine, you can ask any of my friends, my family members, you could ask anybody if I do not have that one cup of coffee in the morning, I will rip your face off. <laughs> Show of hands, who else is like that? <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyways, so, but I was trying to figure out, I think, I'm pretty sure that the pumpkin spice latte was the first coffee drink I ever tried. Because I'll never forget being at college, I think it was my sophomore year in college, um, I remember I always went to this Barnes and Nobles and I always hung out there because I didn't like our library at the time. Now the library is amazing because they redid it, but I didn't like the library so I always went to Barnes and Nobles and I sat at Starbucks and I usually just got like regular drinks like just a soda or water and I sat in the Starbucks and I worked on homework in my Barnes and Nobles. So I remember everybody going crazy in my like it's like our whole floor was crazy saying oh my gosh it's pumpkin spice latte time I'm so excited so I remember being at that Barnes and Nobles and getting a pumpkin spice latte one day to do my homework and I thought this is actually really good it just tastes like it tastes like melted down pumpkin pie <laughs> and I really don't usually like pumpkin pie but when it comes to pumpkin spice stuff oh my gosh I'm all over it but that I think I can truly tell you, I think that was the first coffee be beverage I've ever had was a pumpkin spice latte in the Starbucks inside the Barnes & Noble. Now I don't go crazy, I don't go crazy white girl crazy and get a pumpkin spice latte every day during the fall. I usually just wait until my birthday, which is October 19th, and I wait till then to go and get my pumpkin spice latte because it's more special then and it's more of a seasonal thing and I don't really burn it out. I remember one year I got a pumpkin spice latte every other day in the month of October and I kind of burnt myself on it so I, I, so I try to make it more special so I waited. I usually wait till my birthday to get the pumpkin spice latte, but then when I was watching the pumpkin hatch, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta go and do this now. So I had to doodle the pumpkin turning into Cinderella's carriage and turn the, um, the mermaid siren, mermaid siren, whatever she is, a siren. I don't know. She's got two tails. It's a mermaid, but I had to turn her into Cinderella. It was a lot of fun and yes, ah, I can't believe it's already fall, but I'm so happy because the weather is cooling down and I hope everybody stays safe during 
Hurricane Irma that's currently going on. I know I might be getting hit by it soon, just like storm-wise, but I just hope everyone in Florida stays safe, and I keep sending all my prayers and all my best wishes to Texas, and if you guys can haven't donated towards the Hurricane Harvey yet, please make sure you make donations. But I hope everyone stays safe, and I hope you all have a wonderful fall. I'll see y'all later. Leave in the comments down below if you've got your pumpkin spice latte yet. Bye!